Hey y'all, out at the uh, Grand 2012, and um, one of the, I'm in on Thursday, so it's kind of loaded, and, and the fall show actually opens Thursday afternoon, so uh, there's a lot going on, but uh, one of the things I wanted to bring you to was a 72 Chevy pickup truck. It's got, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful truck, but it's got a really cool story behind it too, so Johnny's the owner, let me run him down, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Johnny, how are you, brother? I'm fine, Scotty. How you doing this morning? Just fine. Tell me Great. a little bit about this hot rod. It's a 72 Chevy Cheyenne. My daddy bought it new in 72. Uh, I've had it since 89. I uh, started on it in 95. Uh, me and a friend of mine, we spent three years redoing it. And, uh, and then I've done it three times since uh, 98. Wow. And what did your dad bought it? What, he used it on the farm or something? He used just... it on the farm. We, he drove it out back to work. Uh, like I said, we lived on the farm, and, and he did use it on the farm. Right. What do you think he'd think about you street riding I, it? He'd love it right now. I think. Would he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt it's a beautiful <laughs> truck. Was he into hot rods? Uh, he liked fast cars and loud cars, but right. uh, nothing into hot rods. Right. right. Now, is this is this the first thing that you've street ride? You did all the work on this truck yourself. Me and a friend of mine did most of the truck. 95% of it, we did it ourselves on that thing, yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, let's give a friend out. What's your uh, friend's name? Let's give a shout out to him. Jim Keith. All right, Jim. Nice job. How long did it take you to do it? Uh, it, we spent three years on it the first time, and then I've did it a couple of things to it since then on that thing. Spent about, uh, about another couple of years on it in, in plastic. What motor do you have in it? It's got a 383 stroker, 450 horsepower. Oh, wow. That's a 700 nice. R four speed overdrive transmission in it. So, it's, you got all late model suspension and everything under it, or is that pretty it's much still stock? Pretty much stock. I've got a lot of upgraded stuff on it with uh, uh, some springs and stuff like that, and I got uh, Wheelwood four wheel disc brakes. Not right. like cool. Well, let's take a look at it. What okay. uh, first question people are going to have is what color is that? It's uh, medium green. I took the original color and just tinted it one shade darker. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's real close to the original real color. Close to real color right? And that's not the original grill in it, though, is it? That's not the original grill. That's a new uh, chrome grill that they've come out with. So I did put one of those in it. No, that's really cool. How much have you lowered it? I uh, lowered it uh, four inches. In, I think I see three and a half inches in the front and uh, six inches and in four inches in the back. I like those wheels on it too. Those are Boyd Coddington Boyd wheels. Coddington. Yeah. Right. You put all that, all the uh, trim and everything is the original style trim, original right? Original style trim on it. Uh, it's got all eight model 98 Suburban bucket seats and cons. Yeah, uh, open that door deal. for me if you don't mind. <clears throat> and I've had the Kings Up poster out of Roanoke, Virginia, just did the interior for me. Wow. That's nice. I love the color. It goes well with this green. Oh, that headliner is beautiful too. Thank you. Yeah, nice job on that. Do you drive it much? No, no. sure don't. Don't drive it a whole lot. Right. I put about uh, probably 300 miles on it in the last 10 years, I guess. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Man, I like those door handles, too. Thank you. Yeah, door panels. They did a nice job. Yeah, yeah they really did. Yeah, he's, he's good. Yeah. No matter about and then you put a wood bed in it. That's not original. Yeah, that's not original. No. Right. That's, uh, it had to come with a metal, metal bed. I did take the, what I did, just took the original bed off of it, got all new sides and new covers and everything. I just built me a whole brand new bed with a wood floor in it. Right. Well, was that hard to do? That's a pretty good yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> didn't good. sound hard when it no, started. It, sound it sounded easy, it right? That's right. Yeah. Man, that's just one clean truck, brother. And I like that you kept the original trim on it because, I mean, it goes well with the green, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you kept enough of it stock that uh, you can still see the stockness of it, but you can tell it's not. I mean, it's been street rotted, you know? Yeah, which I sort of wanted to leave outside pretty much original, but just right. like to upgrade everything, you know, interior, the running gear, all on it. Right. No, you did. You tweaked it just right. The underneath, I guess, is as nice as the rest. Yes, it is. Can you open here? Let me open that. Yeah, right. Power seat, sweet. Power seat. Yeah, Everybody way to go. Works. Right. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, that'd be a big surprise if you told me something didn't work. <laughs> no, I imagine this truck is in tip-top condition. Man, that is awesome, man. This beautiful truck. Can we see under the hood? Sure. Oh wow, very nice. 
Man, look how clean that is under there. And although you put a lot of chrome on the motor, mm -hmm. um, the rest of it, it kind of sets off with the rest of it, you know, the it's black and black and all. Yeah, right. Yeah, a lot of people paint all on here's body color, so I yeah. sort of want to leave mine black and right. get a little bit, break up everything on it. Too. Right. Yeah. And the other thing is, is a lot of people want to put chrome back here, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, I was just talking to uh, Bobby Alloway a couple weeks ago, and uh, that's a big no-no. Because if you do that, then you can't see the chrome grill. Right. It all that's blends the, in. All so blends in. it's got to be black behind that, mm -hmm. you know? So, no, that was that was awesome, man. Thank you. And how many horse do you think this is, or you know? It's 400. It was downloaded. It's 450 horsepower. All right. Is that at the wheels or at the crank? That's at the crank. Yeah. Sweet. Man, that is just a beautiful truck. Thank you. I yeah. certainly do appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. Shut that hood. Let me just do a quick walk around on that. Can we hear it start? Yeah, shut the hood. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I hooked the battery back up. Folks, I'm going to let him hook the battery back up, and we'll come back. Well, that sounds good. Johnny, I really, really appreciate you giving me the time to look at that truck. Thank you, sir. I certainly appreciate you giving the opportunity of uh, showing it to us. Sure, no problem. Folks, there you go. 72. 72. 72. Uh, Cheyenne Chevy uh, Street Ride um, from the uh, Grand 2012. Hope you all have enjoyed it. I think it's a very, very beautiful truck. So, anyways, y'all have a good day. Thanks again.